Times change. They must. In unexpected ways. That's life. Trying to hold on to the past. A good way to lose sight of the future. A great way to miss everything right in front of your eyes. Consistently changing. I've held on to the past longer than I thought I had. Every experience is colored in part by how I expected the situation to be. In a painful experience, to try to reach for someone's heart, thinking you know where it is, and realizing it's moved. Worse yet, is knowing right where it is, but like a phantom, going straight through. The popular belief is that people change, as do the times. I've seen the times change, but I've seen far more people stay the same. Unfortunately, it seems to be easier to adjust to a friend that has changed than it is to adjust to a friend who has stayed the same. You wave as the current takes you farther and farther from the shore you shared. That's only true for those whose lives consistently change in perspective and direction. Old friends summon old skins that we've worn and it can be painful to wear ill-fitting masks. Oftentimes, it's not an accurate representation of what once was. This can hinder the future, disrespect the present, and taint pleasant memories with shadows of the past. I believe the eyes are the window to the soul, and voice is the front door. Some may have colorful paint, grand pillars, decorations, and welcoming doormats. But all of these things are there to paint a picture of who that person wishes you to believe they are. Like the front door, when we speak, we open up to everyone. Even our lies tell truths about who we are. The infinite perspectives we take in with our eyes allows us to meet each other at different glances, different angles, creating endless combinations of connection and with the infinite play of words at our fingertips, we can express ourselves more and more truly with each interaction, correcting every false notion along the way. To get to the heart of humankind, we have to speak with words that vibrate with clarity so as to bring people's awareness to the absolute present. And only then can we learn each other again. The moments in my past that shaped my future, that were hidden away for so long, are beginning to breach that long sealed door. The existential dread the resentment for the world for not understanding, the discrimination, feeling like an outcast in an alien world. 
and the isolation. My expectations were colored by society. They spun a tale of hard work, joy, acceptance, and kindness, while hiding the truth. Hard work doesn't always pay off, though you may try, and you should. There are no guarantees. Joy can be hard to come by. Acceptance can largely hinge on your willingness to abandon yourself. And kindness can be a luxury at times. And love. Love is a phantom seen only in the night. Not seen often, misunderstood, and impossible to hold on to. Like catching lightning in a bottle. Or reaching the moon with your hand. And as the days continue on, and the seasons change, those I've shared my life with seem to remain the same. Taller, with more experience under their belts, a few more wrinkles too, but fundamentally the same. I've moved ten years in the future in my body, but an immeasurable amount of time in my mind. I've come so far from where I was that I might not even consider it to have been me anymore. And then I hear an ancient name in the distance, a primeval evocation of long dead selves. Necromancy of the soul. Reviving parts of myself I had long forgotten. Conjuring a shape with infinite sides. With endless memories attached. Seen from all sides in an instant. All which are brought forth to the surface and hardened in the present in amber. The past can never die. Once again, only ever understood and embraced or hidden and haunting. neither of which are an easy thing to do. We're like blank and round jigsaw pieces. Any combination will create a picture, unique with each iteration. While no pieces fit together, and not everything touches seamlessly. A connection across the board is created and can be interpreted in a different way by each who looks. The same glance across time is different simply because the times have changed and each word spoken carries a different weight because we gain experiential mass as we go. We continue to mold ourselves ever closer to our true selves, bringing more and more truth into everything we do, pulling all who approach away from the past and blind to the future. 
only able to experience this ever-present now. Made whole again. And brought into the light by the ever-changing you. Thanks for watching the video. I'll be reading and analyzing my book from then till now on Wednesdays and peace of mind on Saturdays, as well as my quote conversations throughout the week. If you enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to like and subscribe so you can visit my channel each time I provide more content and engage in the comments so you can share your thoughts with me. Have a good day.